we're, here we are on a beautiful August day with RCDV clothes. We're actually improvising our Hello Reading show. And today I'm invited, we hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. Uh, today I'm interviewing for the September 1 election, Bill Brown, who's been an 87 year old resident of the town of Reading and a longtime town meeting member. 53 years. Oh, 53 years on town meeting. Bill wanted to have a conversation with us today of why he's supporting the recall. And Bill, you asked to do this, and I'm here to accommodate you. And why do you feel Ms. Alvarado should be recalled? Uh, Linda, I think she conspired with uh, two prior selectmen uh, to violate Section 14 of the uh, Town Marine Home Rule Charter which specifies that only Reading residents shall be on committees. Um, and I can go back and give you a little history of that if you think that's something yeah, everybody would do. Yeah, it's well, not commonly known. No, it isn't. Uh, in 2004, the then Board of Selectmen realized that they could not appoint uh, ad hoc committees or whatever. So a Charter Review Committee was convened. I think at the time we had nine members of which I was one. And one of those subjects that came up was the non-residence requirement. Uh, and I think at that time, as I remember, uh, all nine members very adamantly said, no, we do not want uh, town, out of town people on our committee. And that was reaffirmed in 2014 when we, uh, another committee came. So uh, it's been pretty much that way. And part of the reason was that prior to that, uh, they had a gentleman in town that uh, exercised a lot of power, but he was not a resident of Reading. And people got very, very ticked off of it. They felt that uh, if it's going to be Reading, it should be for Reading. And in fact, uh, the preamble of the charter states that it's for the town of Reading, not for the town of Reading. And, whoever you want might want to be on. So that, that's basically the genesis of why I feel that she should be recalled. And, and then along together with the uh, uh, her action as chair during the uh, police chief selection. We'll get into that in more way on that. Okay. Well, you brought up the non-residents. That specifically wasn't raised as an issue. Uh, for the recall, the issue was her participation and her leadership or lack of it right. during the police chief hiring process. Right. And that's what got people to notice that something wasn't quite right. And then the other issue of non-residents also became uh, noticeable because that had been going on prior to many people right. even aware of it. Yeah. So why, um, so, uh, Let's see, I'm looking at your notes that you gave me here. How do you feel about her leadership as chair during the police chief appointment proceedings? That's specifically about the recall. Well, actually. as you know, by charter, uh, the appointment of the police chief is strictly the, and two others, is strictly the purview of the town manager. He mm -hmm. does not have to do that. The only thing that the selectman can, under the circumstances, can either approve his uh, appointment or disapprove his appointment. Uh, but the town manager um, went beyond that. He could be uh, four, I believe it was four retired police chiefs to do a search and uh, interview process for him. Uh, he also went another step beyond that. He has, I believe it was seven observers that came in. They could not talk to or ask the, any questions, but they could observe. Uh, observe which, the process? The observe government. the process, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, of which uh, Vanessa was one. And you may recall at the time, uh, there were two liaisons to the police uh, department as things. And in my opinion... Select board liaison. The, right? Yeah, select board okay. liaison. Yeah, okay. thank you, Linda. Um, I think, in my opinion, uh, Vanessa bullied the other person out so she, because she wanted to be the chair and uh, so-called run the whole deal thing. Um, and I, I, I think... She overstepped the bounds on that one. And then, in my opinion, she, again, kept slowing the process down and slowing the process down. Uh, she wanted public input. Nothing in the charter says that we should have public input. 
Uh, matter of fact, during the collection of signatures, I met a gentleman that was retired chief of Van uh, Allington, and he said the same thing. The public should have no input into the selection of uh, the police chief. So, again, well, can we can we kind of explain that a little bit because there's an expectation when you have a meeting for public input that what people actually say they want right. will be followed up with their desire. Right. And sometimes that's good, but sometimes there's a false expectation that what they say is going to affect. Well, I, I think you have to go back and lend it to the whole select board process. They do have they do allow public input. Mm -hmm. By law, they do not have to. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, Bob eventually did allow some public input, mm -hmm. and there were people there that you know expressed that the charter was out of date. We should do this, do that. Well, my feeling is, if the charter is out of date and you don't like it, you have the right to try to change it. And I'll work with anybody if they want to try and change it, as we've done twice in the past. So, again, I just think Vanessa elbowed her way in and wanted to run the whole meeting. Uh, and delay the whole process of the, the, the chief, as far as that goes. Um, and, and, and I have to say, I like her as a person, uh, and I did not vote, and I want to make one other thing too, I did not vote for her in 2018, nor did I vote for John Arena. So I have nothing, this is not against her or one or the other. I, and that's the first time I haven't voted for a select for a person since 1954. So. I want people to understand that. So that, that's part of the channel. So you mentioned to me that you watched her video online. Yes, I did. And that you wanted to talk a little bit about um, what what is what she said was important to her about the virus and uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Well, as you know, she brought up one of the things that she spoke about in the video uh, she said, well, with the Black Lives Matter and the uh, current coronavirus situation, uh, she felt that the recall was petty. Well, I don't particularly feel that the recall is petty to me. I think it is the genesis of the town. This is what we, each and every person, be it elected or be it served, when you go in there, you take your hand, you raise it up, and you say you will obey the charter. And I don't think she did. Uh, and then the other thing I found on that, as you know, the search uh, for a police chief came well before the coronavirus or anything else. And I think she's using that for smoke screen. That's, that's my own personal feeling. Uh, and I think she feels that she's wrong, but she's using that as a smoke screen for that. So. That, and you wanted to make it clear that you have spoken with her about the charter early on. Yes, uh, Vanessa, myself, and uh, the year before I sat with Andy Friedman down at Dunkin' Donuts over a cup of coffee for about two hours. And one of the things I said to both of them, please, pick up a copy of the charter, read it, and understand it. If you can't understand it, call me or talk to town council, and I'll do the best I can uh, to explain it. Neither bragging nor complaining. Uh, I think I know the charter about as well as anybody in the town already, in including the, the uh, town council. So that's, that's my summary. Uh, it, Linda, have you got any other questions? or? No, I just wanted you to give you an opportunity to speak about how you feel. And well, we could probably be here forever. Uh, <laughs> but to summarize... On this talk. On, on this specific topic. topic. Yeah. Uh -huh. To summarize, I, I think she worked with two former selectmen, clearly in appointing non-resident, in my mind, clearly violated the charter. And to me, it just shows that she doesn't care about the charter. Well, it also looks like it might be a pattern. Is that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She because does. It, the police chief was one part of what had been going on right. before. Right. It was and I don't think people, concerned. most people know the chatter, and I don't expect them to. But, you know, it is there, that's what we look for. Well, thank you for for coming today. I know this has been on your heart, and uh, well, I'm glad you've been staying well uh, and healthy. It, it is, Linda. Um, 
as you know, I have been a town meeting member uh, for 53 years, and I have to say my interest in civics and so forth started in the eighth grade. I had a good teacher. Uh, I was the only one that got the question right that he ever asked, and I don't remember to this day, it was something to do with electoral college, but I was the only one in the whole eighth grade class that got it, and that kind of got me started on this. Um, the other thing that I'm going to mention, uh, I've had the privilege of voting since 1952, uh, and that was, I registered to vote sitting in my footlock in Tripoli, Libya by absentee ballot. Uh, so when Miss Alvarado checked uh, challenged my signature on the uh, recall petition. I don't know how she could because my signature wasn't there. In those days, you didn't have to sign it, sign, you just walked into the town clerk and told them if you wanted it. So that's it. But thank you very much, Linda, for having me. And uh, I hope the people out there understand it's not a personal item to her whatsoever. It's strictly, I don't feel that she's obeyed the charter, and I think it's a patent we have to have to stop in this town and some others prior to her. Uh, there were two former chair, uh, select board members of state for one term, they're gone, and I hope she follows them as a one term select board. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, that was Bill Brown's opinion. We like to give people an opportunity to share their views on different things and uh, I think he did a good job staying on subject. So uh, thank you, Bill, and thank you and, and, and for uh, technical for help time. today. And that's difficult for me at times. <laughs> yeah, I got a little stick under the table. You did well. So thank you for watching. Uh, join us uh, again when we'll be doing Hello Reading. For now, we'll say goodbye. <laughs>